Everyone's got a political view. Everyone has their own personal politics that they're dealing with. But what happens if you're dating someone that has very different political views than you do? Well, I'm here with Tracy Steinberg, the datologist, who is going to tell us a little bit about how to deal with those political issues that might come up as you're dating someone, especially if it's someone that you don't agree with, at least on politics. And this is a very sensitive subject. New relationships are so vulnerable that if you can possibly just avoid and bring the topics back to the light and breezy, fun, flirty topics, you know, that is definitely the best way to make your relationship go smoothly in the beginning when it's so vulnerable. If your new hottie just insists on sharing their views, then I really recommend that you just listen intently, respectfully, as much as you can. I mean, the reality is you can learn so much about someone from listening to their political views and just try to agree with whatever you can agree with. Anything that you can authentically agree with is a great thing to do. Would you recommend not watching political shows or news shows on TV together? This is The Daily Show with John Stewart. Well, as a general rule, if you don't agree and it's a new relationship and you don't really know how the other person's gonna be, I would recommend staying away if possible. What about a long-term relationship? You obviously know by this point that this person maybe has different political views than you. The reality is that hopefully by the time you get into a long-term relationship, you have a mutual respect for each other and you have an acceptance of each other. And hopefully at that point, you can agree to disagree and still know that you love each other. You know, every relationship has differences and it's just important to focus on what is important and try to remember maybe not every political issue is vital that you agree in your relationship. Is this a good way to make a connection and maybe meet your new romance through volunteering on a political campaign? Absolutely. I think that's great. In fact, I work with lots of women, probably more women than men, and I often tell them if they're politically inclined to get involved in politics because it's mostly men. So ladies, if you want to be surrounded by men, get your butt active in the politics. <laughs> For more dating tips, check out Tracy Steinberg, the datologist, at tracysteinberg.com.